Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys um, how to make keybinds. This is an updated version of what I had originally put out. Um, it was a little, it was actually, it was 2022 February after the video, so it's almost a year. In a month, it'll be a year. Well, at least from when I'm recording this video and stuff. This is a more efficient way, and it's a much faster way, and it's just generally the better way of doing things. No one really does things as, as like how I did it prior in that video, but yeah. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that. Um, oh. Sorry guys, ignore that. I had had that guy just recorded the teleporter video right before I recorded this video. But anyway, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so you get an over to starter player, right? You you wanna either have the um what's it called the keybind script or whatever and stuff like that. Like you wanna either have it either in starter player scripts or starter character scripts. You could maybe have it in a starter GUI, like in a specific GUI, if that's what you wanted to. But majority of people would either just put it in starter player scripts or starter character scripts. I like to keep my stuff in starter player scripts. Just to let you guys know, you can only call the use input service, which is what we will be using to detect when a player presses a certain key or mouse click and stuff like that on a local script. You can't use it on a server script, so you, so you got to make sure it's a local script. Hence why we only use the starter player scripts, starter character scripts, or starter GUI. But yeah, we can just name this keybind script, right? So what we can do is this, delete print hello world, then we're gonna do local UIS, which is short for user input service, then we'll do equals game, get service, user input service, right? Enter twice, then we'll do us dot input begin, connect function, in parentheses, we're gonna put input, enter, and then we're gonna do if input, right? Dot user input type, then it's equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard, then enter again. Then we do another if statement. If input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code. And here's the best part. Here is where you have a long list of a whole bunch of key binds that you can select, like a whole bunch of keys, I should say, where you can select to bind whatever the like you want the function to do and stuff, right? You have a whole list and stuff like that. So you got a lot to choose from. I usually go with the e key. The E key, that's just me though, right? You choose whatever you want, right? And yeah, uh, if you're looking to like uh, to do the mouse, you would just change this to mouse button, and then you just change it to that. That's what you were looking for, all right? And you would obviously remove this part because you obviously wouldn't need this. And then yeah, you would just change it, and then yeah, that's literally how you make keybinds. It's extremely simple. So yeah, if you wanted, to, I could show you guys real quick too. Uh, print E key. Oh sorry. E key has been pressed. All right, we can go ahead and test this. Let's press play. Let's wait to load in. And boom, there you go. Alrighty. So if I press E, E key has been pressed. If I just spam it, yep, there you go. That's your make keybinds. Extremely simple, extremely easy and stuff. Hope this video was helpful. Leave a like, subscribe. Appreciate y'all for watching. Join my Discord and Roblox group. Links can be found in the description. And I'll see you guys. Hope y'all enjoying your day, by the way. But yeah.